a good start, but uh, I'm hoping that, uh, well, I've got to learn the players a bit better and the town a little bit better and the, the football club a little bit better. And uh, let's hope that we can learn something and build on it for, for next year. There's certainly a lot of work to be done. I think everybody's aware of this uh, right now down at Geelong. What was the uh, high point as far as Geelong was concerned and you were concerned for the year? What there was, was one of no the... high points in our performance for 1983. It's been a most disappointing year. It's as simple as that. Uh, we finished ninth on the ladder and where could you get a high point out of being ninth? Yeah, perhaps the early start might have been some encouragement. I don't get excited over games during the course of the year. It's the finals and premierships, but you know what it's all about. Uh, Alan, it uh, seemed to be a very mouth time. I think you, you're saying that you need some new players for next year if the side is to uh, progress anywhere. The three players that were on that document that was uh, passed around during the game, one of them is Stephen Michaels. I see in his report in the press is wanting to go to Richmond. How much of a blow would that be to the aspirations of the side next year? Uh, well, according to our uh, club, the reports that we've got is that he's very keen to come to Geelong and they're negotiating and talking with him at present. Uh, if it's in the press that he's keen to go to Richmond, that's new to us. As you know, he signed with us, so it's, they're not, you know, we've still got him, so it's, a, it's still in the melting pot, but I'll be pleased to see him over here. Yeah. Alan uh, Payton, you took, you played well in the ruck, I thought, yesterday. You took him off at half-time, and that's cure down there. You have no uh, uh, problems about next year, and... Uh, whether you get players or not, you're looking forward to a next year down here. Is that correct? Because there's a lot of, I mean, you would be aware, as many other coaches at this time of the year, there's a lot of rumours about it. We haven't heard you, of it. You started it. <laughs> you, you wrote it down here for me to ask you. Um, oh, no, um, I'm looking forward to next year. I think it's been a, a learning year for me, even though I've been around for quite some time. I think that it's been a... Well, interesting to some extent, but as I say, like next year's another year, and I think that uh, the way the club's working right now over the last three or four weeks, they've done a hell of a lot of work, uh, probably more than what they did in the early part of the season. So, uh, you know, we've, well, we're looking forward to 1984. Well, good luck for 84 and good luck for the rest of the year. Alan. And incidentally, Alan, you know that your team are playing, uh, Fitzroy next week are playing at the MCG, so don't bowl down to VFL Park. A lot of people believe the match is played there. You know that, don't you? So the match is at the MCG between Hawthorne and Fitzroy. So make sure you turn up in time. You've got the Thomas Hardy Grand Reserve Champagne, Tommy, and also these magnificent uh, drumsticks. And they are smoked, of course, from uh, Cottage Kitchen. You've also got the Mayfair Festive Ham. You can't beat that. That's the weekend, incidentally. And The Wit of Walker by Max Walker and Mike Cow, a great book. And, of course, you've got the... Uh, I don't know what the... The Lufkin uh, Tough Boy. What, what is it, Doug? The Tough Boy. That's a tape measure. Yeah, tape measure. Oh, sorry, Stephen. <laughs> Time now to check the Canberra TV Club Awards from the game yesterday between Hawthorne and Geelong, Johnston and Robinson getting the votes for the respective clubs and overall Featherby and Wallace the leaders.